Well, for the past few weeks, Harrison Walls have been building momentum and burning up the trail, and Trump has responded to this in the fashion of a bitter, unemployed divorcee. He mostly just sits at home all day, bitching incoherently on the internet. People are confused. Why is he not campaigning more? Is it because he's old, tired, gun-shy? Some have said, hey, maybe he's not worried about campaigning because he knows he plans to steal the whole thing anyway. Speculation based on nothing more than the fact that last time around, he very publicly tried to steal the whole thing anyway. Yeah, we should talk about it. Look, as a party, they've been headed down that road for a long time now. They know their policies are not popular. Most Americans would prefer not to be indentured to a handful of microdosing megalomaniacs, okay? The GOP platform is about two brainstorming sessions away from officially adding billionaires get the right of prima nocta and they wonder why they can't connect with people. All they have is fear-mongering culture war stuff and turns out telling everybody that Democrats are going to take their jobs and guns and give them all to purple-headed transgender atheists only gets you so far. All right, when Americans vote, they lose. They've known it for a long time. That's why they've been manipulating the system for so long, gerrymandering, voter suppression, and it's still not enough. So the only option they have left is to reject the system entirely. They've put people and plans into place to make sure that this fall Trump wins even when he loses. You know your loser cousin who drives a motorized Trump billboard and has a dog he trained to be racist named Baron? Yeah, well, you wouldn't let his ass run a dishwasher, okay? But he is straight up management material in MAGA world, all right? And they got him in charge of elections all over the place. And that's all it takes is a handful of that guys gumming up the works by refusing to certify votes they think are gay. And next thing you know, the president and is determined by a Supreme Court who already said they think Trump should be a king. It's not ideal. All right. And one of the great ironies of the whole thing is, you know, the MAGA base will justify it all by saying they were just trying to stop us from cheating. That's what they'll, they'll believe that for months, for years now, the heat seeking pander cannon they call the news has been telling them like, oh, California's taking violent migrants and paying them in heroin to commit voter fraud for Kamala. And your sweet Aunt Tammy sitting on the couch like that is just classic California. They believe anything. They live in bubbles of bullshit. They go from the Baptist church to the rural truck stop diner to talking exclusively to marginally different carbon copies of themselves and then say with a straight face, everybody I know hates Kamala and they're acting like she could win a fair election. <laughs> they must think we're stupid. Yeah, we're in the end game of fake news now, y'all. Objective reality has never been more irrelevant, and these people will go along with anything, but not all is lost. Last time around, Trump couldn't pull off the Ocean's Eleven of dumb treason when he himself was still in the White House. Biden and the Democrats are not going to just roll over and let this happen. I know, historically, that would be very on brand for them, but they feel different lately, right? I have to believe that the Sunday school fascists are not the only ones with a plan here. And as for the rest of us, what we need to do is just get out there and run the score up so much that not even these sons of bitches are dumb enough to deny it. All right, that's the plan. All right, YouTube, back with more in just a second, but I wanted to let you know that these here ravings are once again brought to you by the good people at Private Internet Access, the world's most trusted VPN provider with over 30 million downloads. Listen, y'all, nowadays getting on the internet without a VPN would be like competing in breakdancing at the Olympics without ever having apparently taken a training class before. You're going to be exposed, all right? But PIA's VPNs hide your IP address and encrypt your internet connection, thus shielding you and your digital privacy from the prying eyes of the hackers and other shady types of the online world. That's not all their VPNs can do, though. They also can make it appear as though you're logging on from any country on Earth, so you can check out that country's version of Netflix if you want to. Korean murder dramas at your fingertips. Their VPNs are available across all platforms, and now you can use one PIA account to safeguard unlimited devices. I use my PIA account to safeguard every single device in my household. It works like a charm, so if that sounds good to you, here's what you can do. Click the link in the description below to try private internet access today for 83% off with four months free. Signing up always includes 24-7 customer support and a 30-day money-back guarantee, so what more do you need to hear if you think that sounds overly techy or something? It's not. Look, here's the app. There's the button. You push the button and just like that, it's on, that's it. Couldn't be more simple. So try private internet access today. All right, YouTube, and we're back. You know, one of the most alarming things about the Trump era is it has illustrated for us how fragile many of our institutions and systems are. You know what I mean? Like when you were younger, you had elections, we vote, that's what we do in this country. The outcome of that is determined by the people that vote and who they vote for. It's all very simple, it makes sense. And when you find out, you know, at the age of 38 in the year 2024, right, that all it takes is some dude who's been banned from advanced auto parts to just say, no, I don't want to, I don't feel like it. And that can just bring the whole thing to its knees, really? That's how this country, that's the, 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 the bare thread and duct tape has been holding this country together? for 200 plus years now because that's pretty upsetting y'all 
it's also upsetting how much people have just latched on to uh, the realities that they build for themselves. Who needs an objective reality when the bespoke one that Daddy Elon is all too happy to custom make directly for you is infinitely more comforting, right? I never thought that it would be these people that would latch onto it. I thought it would be like basement dwelling neckbeards, you know, living some anime lifestyle out in the matrix somewhere. I didn't think it'd be like gas station papaws living in their own world once we got to this point in time. That's what we need to do though. We need to like make them their own version. We need to make like a MAGA matrix that we could just plug them into. That's all they really want, right? They just wanna, they just wanna live in the world that they've uh, concocted for themselves in their head. Well, let's, let's get on that. Let's build that for them, plug them into it. You just put them on like a food drip or something in the corner of the living room and inside, you know, everybody's white, nobody's gay, which means, you know, nobody's funny or cool or makes good movies or music or anything anymore either. Yeah, all movies are Kevin Sorbo joints. All music is Lee Greenwood. All, all uh, restaurants are Applebee's or Kid Rock's Bar and Grill, right? This is the reality that they live in and they're happy. They're all happy. They get to be happy. We get to be happy. Everybody gets to be happy. We need to plug these people into the MAGA matrix. That's what the future needs to be. That's, that's, that's just something that I'm just working on. But I think it's worth a shot, you know. All right, this is the year. We'll see how it goes. Still a long way to go, but it's going to be here in no time. And as I already know, I'll be here with you every step of the way, or at least that's the plan. All right, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. I put these little things up here. This is my special. I just recorded a new one, so in the coming months, look out for that. Also, subscribe to the channel. You get all the videos and the podcasts and all that stuff. And then the important one to me, TreyCrowder.com. That's the other circle. That's my website. It's got my tour dates on it. I'm a stand-up comedian. Come see me do comedy live and in person if I'm coming near your city. I'd appreciate it. But really, you just keep watching these silly things, and I'll keep making them. I love you like chicken. See you, bye.